This is GT Academy Masterclass. The rookies are about to take on the final race of their driver development program, the Brit Car Night Race. Under the watch of their coaches, they practice their driver changes as well as getting their first chance to practice in the dark. But first, before the big race, the rookies take on day qualifying. Team RJN have entered two cars in the night race. Today we are here at Donington Park. Uh, it's our last race, it's gonna be a night race. The three rookies, Ricardo, Gaitan and Ahmed, are now joined by the American GT Academy winner, Nick Haman, to have two drivers in each car. Um, today I will be with Ahmed for the Brit car race tonight. Nick will join the other rookies in Dubai, and today he and Ahmed are driving car 28, while Gaitan and Ricardo will drive car 22. The rookies begin qualifying in difficult track conditions. I went out first on uh, just wet weather tires. The track was somewhat damp. This particular circuit, Donington Park, is very difficult in the wet because we're right next to East Midlands Airport and the kerosene fumes just drop. You get the kerosene uh, on the wet and it's just like an ice ring. Conditions improve, leading to a change in tires. Now Med hopped in, did his three, four laps. Uh, luckily, at the end, it dried out, so we swapped with the slick tires. Jeff and Simon did a good job calling the ball and saying, OK, we're going to dry, dry tire slick. Despite the improvement in track conditions, though, it's not all plain sailing. When I went out, I was in cold, new slick tires. The car was sliding so much. After three laps, I got more heat on the tires. I managed to do a good lap. The rookies finish qualifying, posting some good lap times. Car 22 with Gaetan and Ricardo finishes in P9 overall and fifth in class, while Ahmed and Nick finish in P10 overall and sixth in class. The GT Academy rookies will need to perfect the art of the pit stop and the driver change before their first night race. They have a few hours to spare before night practice, so they get in some valuable learning time. At this event, the rookie drivers have a minimum time period they'll have to spend in the pits. The pit stops here are a mandatory 90 seconds, so there's less pressure to get the drivers changed quickly. Uh, when we get to Dubai, however, there'll be no minimum time. A quick, smart driver change is essential and for Dubai even more important. So getting them into this mode, hence the practicing, not too much practicing, so they end up bruised and fed up, but just some practicing to get them in the mood for a quick change. It's important to have quick, clean pit stops because five seconds, 10 seconds lost in a pit stop is very difficult to recover out on the track. This is just a good starting point just to get us used to being working under pressure. The driver coach, Rob, works through the processes the drivers will have to follow when heading in for a pit stop. We set a sequence of uh, events so that when they come in, they go through a procedure. And provided that they follow that procedure, there shouldn't be any problems. So loosening the belt, pit lane speed limit, down to first gear with the clutch in, engine off, under the belt, straight out of the car. So this is the first time that we have to really work on getting smooth driver changes in and out being quick, precise, and getting the car down on the track again. So it's a 15 second fuel fill. Three, two, one, go. Ahmed and Nick in car 28 complete their driver change practice in good time. Well, well done guys, so that was 45 seconds. While Gaetan and Ricardo in car 22 have room to improve. Right, 15 seconds, go. Wow, this is slow. Oh, dear. You've just lost half a lap. 80 seconds. The rookies now face their first time of driving in the dark. They'll no doubt make some mistakes and they'll forget to do various things, but uh, with a mandatory 90-second pit stop, we should have that little bit of extra time in hand, so it shouldn't hinder us in the race. 
The GT Academy rookies have already qualified for the Brick Car Night Race, but they get an opportunity of night practice. Definitely the night is going to bring a whole different approach. Just with, I know, for example, I got to wear my glasses for this kind of stuff, where during the day I really don't. It's the only chance the rookies will get to race in the dark before Dubai. There's very few night races in the UK, but this is one of them. Today's night practice and race are important for Bob and his team as well to plan for Dubai. It's really, really important because if someone's finding it difficult, we, we can work around that when we get to Dubai. Obviously, we can cut someone's time down in, 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 the, in the night period. So we just need to know just whether they're good at it or whether they're not so keen on it and so on. And then we can uh, make plans accordingly. Bob knows not all drivers are great at driving in the dark. It is a completely different ball game. Some racing drivers are exceptionally good at night and others are not so keen. And yet, the guys who are not so keen can still be very, very good racing drivers. It's just one of those things. There'll be various challenges driving in the dark at Donington Park. The signals that are normally uh, second nature, the flags, uh, there are lights. Um, there are not so many of them. And it's all a big new experience. The driver's spatial awareness and a loss of track references can also hinder the rookies' performances. The actual awareness of where you are changes. As you know yourself, you're just driving on the road, you know, knowing exactly where you are from here to the corner or here to the next car. They lose all references, or many of their references, because their peripheral vision that they use to pick out a break in reference, you know, is now potentially gone. You have really to know the track perfectly because you don't see everything during the night. Silly things like how close is the guy behind when you've got some headlights beaming down on you? Is he 20 yards behind? Is he 100 yards behind? More pressure for when you're in front. It's going to be a very important lesson that they're going to learn today. When the rookies race in Dubai, the track is lit. Here, tonight, they won't have that luxury. It's more difficult at Donington because Donington does not, not have light on the track. Dubai, yes. The rookies now complete their 30-minute night practice. My uh, first practice during night, everything is more fast, and uh, you can see the apex. When a car follows you be, be, behind you, it's with, with the light, it's insane, really. It's uh, really, really crazy. They're now as ready as they ever will be to drive in the dark, but they'll also have to drive smartly to adhere to Bob's plan for this race. Bob and his team have a strategy to get the best place possible and follow race regulations. Do they not give you a desk? No. We know our place, it's on the floor. There's a driver limit of 50 minutes, so we've got to work to that. And it's only, only a 90-minute race. In car 22, Ricardo will start the race doing a 45-minute stint and then hand over to Gaitan. Strategy is key, and he mustn't overdrive the car. We've asked them to drive as carefully as they can on tyres, not slide around too much unnecessarily, because that would mean we can not change the tyres, which will save time. One hour and a half, it's really long for tyres. Ricardo knows to, how to, to save tyres, to be smooth on the car and keep uh, keep a good pace also, so I don't worry about that. The two GT4 cars go into the race with Gaiten and Ricardo starting from P9 and Ahmed and Nick in P10. Ricardo starts well in car 22, but Nick in car 28 has contact with another car and he's forced back into the pits. One wheel was really bad and the left rear was also damaged, so they changed two left tyres, uh, taped up the bodywork. The IJN team quickly get the car back onto the track, but it's lost some position. The rookies' driver change practice has helped and both cars efficiently pit and change drivers. The driver change went pretty well. We kind of just got in the rhythm, got out and hopped out, and Ahmed got in. Both Gaitan and Ahmed do well in the remaining 45 minutes, with Gaitan moving into first in class at the very end. Both cars successfully finished their first night race and the last race of their DDP. Ahmed took it to the flag to finish ninth and uh, fourth in class. Ricardo Angatian 
finished fourth in this race, which is fantastic, you know, because there are only GT3 cars ahead of them. And that, they really had a superb race. The drivers finish the race happy for the experience they've gained. Dubai will now have more experience and it can be more efficient. It's a new experience. It's the longest turns I ever did and also in the night. And I love it. Gaetan and Ricardo add another trophy to their collection. The rookies have come so far in such a short space of time. We are just uh, gamers two months ago. It's like dream come true. Coming up next time on GT Academy Masterclass, the rookies head to Snetterton for testing of the powerful GTR GT3. Bob and his RJN team pack up and send the car on its way to the 24 hours of Dubai, and Gaetan spend the holidays at home in France preparing for his first 24-hour race. That's next time on GT Academy Masterclass.